Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. This is another pre recorded edition of Mafia Roundtable coming at you. EG Vodka. Go to egvodka.com. What are your vodka today? 100% gluten free, organic, excellent vodka. Best tasting vodka on the market. Don't worry about it, folks. When I tell you this is the smoothest vodka ever, take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. Unbelievable. Folks, today we're coming at you. We're going to talk about the commission meeting in 2000. It was called for by Joe Messino and uh, Vincent DeCin Gigante for the Genovese crime family. Two bosses, the old Dons, the controlling families in the early 2000s, folks, coming at you. And we're going to discuss what was discussed during that meeting. And folks, let me tell you something. That's when the Bonanno crime family was at its height. Genovese crime family was second. Then because of having our first cooperator in 2000, our underboss cooperate, and then what destroyed the Bonanno crime family was Joe Messino becoming a rat. Um, that just destroyed us all together. And Genovese crime family right now is sitting high and mighty above all other crime families. That's for sure. That is for sure. Folks, I'm sweating a little bit. Just came back from a good workout. Did chest and biceps, really good pump, and then got home. I have a long driveway. I'm out there getting everything ready for when wifey comes home who wants to hear that, oh, my God, all the leaves on the driveway. And so did that real quick, blew that, walked the dog, picked up dog poop, did all that. We do everything, doing laundry, getting the house ready. I'm like, uh Woo! Can't do enough today. Can't do enough today. She's expected in tonight. So have the house nice and clean, tidied up. My days are relaxing. <laughs> over. We're back. We're back to being Maddie's little bitch. So I, I go do everything. So get the house ready because who wants to hear the wife? So, uh, you know, it's just part of the new life, new age mafia. The dog over there cleaning up, doing things I never did before. Never thought I would do. But it's all good. Loving it. Having a good time. Uh, today, hope everybody comes on uh, 12 p.m. live. We're coming at you with the commission meeting. Uh, we're transpired. And yes, I am sweating. I'm sweating. It's hot. I'm running around trying to get everything done. Now I got after this, I got to go feed the dogs, uh, doing laundry, doing bed sheets because I had the dogs on the bed with me. It's just like a free for all when the wife is gone. Everybody's relaxing. So, but uh, all good, like I said before. So, folks, stay tuned. We'll have a lot. I want the haters to come on. Hate. Keep on hating. Trolls, never answer you. Never answer a troll. So, um, people pass comments about Lee Cole, James Proctor. They said negative things. They're entitled to their opinion, folks. I'm okay with that. Um, and I don't consider them trolls. They're putting out some good uh, content on their channel. I like it. We even uh, discussed yesterday, uh, my boy uh, A-Light came on with Gene G and A Light were back together for a little bit. Looked good. Um, and uh, John came up with some good points. I got to give him credit. You know, it is what it is. When you're right, I feel you're right. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. So I got to give it to him with that, with his statement, his comment. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll even bring Gene on today. Who knows? Uh, we could do him, uh, uh, I don't know, Skype, Zoom, whatever the hell's out there. Duck, tread, stream. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it's all good, folks. I just hope everybody has a great Monday, starting the day out right. So hit that subscribe button so you get the alerts when I do come out. And we're just going to keep on blasting content. That's it. I got enough content for years, so we could keep on going every single day. We're going to start talking about uh, um, mushrooms. We're going to start talking about marijuana, uh, ecstasy, uh, comparisons. I'm going to have people on here to tell me what they experienced. And we're just going to have a lot of good things, a lot of good content about kids uh, with the fundraisers. I still have those funds ready. We'll do one more fundraiser, and then we'll go out there and start uh, putting the monies to use, uh, helping parents that need it, uh, kids that need it. Just, um, just going out doing the right thing, folks. That's all it's about. Give a little bit back. And uh, I'm a firm believer in that. What comes around in life goes around in life. And even for the kids today, like just streets aren't your friends. 
Stop looking up to guys like the Molinos, the John Gotti's, Vincent Bastianos of the world. Yes, they're gangsters, they're thugs. They never cooperated. Don't idolize them, folks. Don't idolize them. So there is a price to pay. Gotti died in prison, standing up for his belief, his morals, and the street code of honor. Vinny's doing two life sentences, standing up for a street code, moral, honor. But where is it today, folks? Where is it? Where is it? I'm sure nobody's looking out for his family, his wife and kids. If they are, it's minuscule to what the guy earned on the street. Minuscule, nothing, nothing, nothing. And look at, you have, again, Joey Molino out there, fortunate enough, beat his cases. Thank God. Stay out there, bro. Like, stay away from the nonsense. The YouTube is, it is what it is. You want to come on, come on. But be prepared. You're going to get feedback from us rats, people out there. And I'm the first to say it. I'll keep it real. If I catch you slipping, I'm going to get you. I'm going to put you out there on blast. You catch me slipping, put me on blast. I'm okay with it. For all you trolls out there, never happened. Never happened. You're not worth the what we walk on. You're not worth what I step in on the street. You're not worth me responding. Never happened. So say what you want. Say all your negative comments. It's all good. It's like this. That's what I do with that. From A Light to Borello to Scars to Franchise to Scammy to Molino, Nadu, Lee Cole, uh, Panisi. Who else am I missing? I know I'm missing a few others. Reggiano. Guys, these are all guys. You know what? They can have different opinions. Even Scammy. I respect them. I respect them. I don't agree with things they do. I respect them. There'll be responses back with guys of that caliber. Um, you know, anybody else? Keep on moving. John Gotti Jr., again, another one. Respect. We have different opinions. Cool. We're entitled to that. That's what makes this genre great. That's what makes it good. And I saw uh, Jeff Nadu's comment. When they pick on people, yeah, I agree. That's not right. It's not right. Reggiano seems like a really nice guy. There's a lot of stuff he says I don't agree with. But who am I to disagree, agree? I'm just, uh, but he seems like a really nice guy. Really nice guy trying to put out his story. If he wants to promote his stuff, I give it to him. Anthony, keep on promoting what you're doing. Keep on promoting, putting it out there. If people want to hate, people want to say things different, they're entitled to. So just respect it. Take it on the chin. Move forward. Move forward. If they're saying things that aren't true, Anthony, go at them. Go at them. And that's it, you know. And back back up what you support. Uh, I strongly believe that. I always believe it. And I'll always do that. If I feel I'm wrong, you saw people I came out, I apologize. It's no big deal to be wrong. It's okay. It's part of being human. Always can't be right. That's for sure. So, folks, stay tuned today. We're coming at you live, Mafia Roundtable. And I have a slew. I'm working out a deal. I might have an abundance of health products from energy drinks to proteins to just different applications to apply it. Folks, I'm not even going into detail, but it's just... I told you, when you do good, good comes around to you. Things fall in your lap. So I'm fortunate enough. We have themanshot.com. We have egvodka.com. We have alwayslitcigars.com. Coming out with my own cigar brand with them. Just, you do good, people. It comes back at you. It definitely does. Kids, listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Do good in life. Go to work. Get a job. Stay positive. Stay focused. Things will come. Things will come. And you know what? Some of you kids out there, I'll give you a challenge. Even with the guy who contacted me about the kid going, going awry. I'll help you out. Show me you're doing the right thing. Show me you're getting a job, that you're out of the life, that you're away from it. You're not doing harm to anybody. You're trying. You're making an effort. Give us six months. Give me six months. Show me. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out with product placement, anything, anything, anything. I'll help you out. I'll be there for you. 
come part of the Sakali family, Inc. It's all legal, legitimized. You could speak, to, and trust me, there's a lot of guys behind me who did what I did. High profile guys, higher than myself. It's all about doing the right thing. We'll guide you, we'll lead you, we'll point you in the right direction, we'll be your support. Stay away from the streets. Streets aren't your friends. You might frown upon what I did. Cool. All good. But you know what? Look where I came from. I started out with nothing at 40 something years old. Nothing, not knowing anybody. One friend, a Jewish fellow, one friend. And what I've built today in 10 years, it takes a lifetime. I sat down with presidents, vice presidents of different countries, different countries. Yes, I went for business aspect, but it came to be humanitarian efforts. So I still have those connections. They still call me, Dom, come help us. Dom, we're willing to do stuff. It was COVID that shut everything down, folks. Can't help it. Was in Guatemala, Pakistan, doing massive deals, even still talking to them, doing things. Just trying to put the right pieces together to relaunch, to rebrand, to do other things. I mean, still in contact. And I did this all in a 10-year span without the mafia, without the mafia, without the streets, I did it. So kids, stay focused. People out there, I'll see you live today. Hit that subscribe button. You don't have to hit the like if you don't like it. I'm cool with that. But hit the subscribe. At least give me the support like that. I'm coming out every day. I'm putting the time in. Even the haters. You know what? I answer your questions. At least give me the decency to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't hurt anything. Even when I disagree with James Proctor and Lee Cole on his show, I still hit subscribe. I like the content. What's the big deal? You could agree to disagree. You don't always have to agree with people. But, you know, sometimes it just helps seeing that subscriber base go up. And uh, is what it is. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to do the right thing, trying to help everybody out there. And... If you don't like me, you don't like me. That's good. I'm not going to please everybody in life, but we're trying to put out quality content and I hope everybody will enjoy the show and I'll see everybody today, 12 PM. We'll talk about the commission meeting in 2000 that was called by the Bonanno and Genovese crime family. And yes, I put Genovese on the title first because I have no respect for the Bonanno crime family. I do have respect for quite a few members in it. The family itself, what Joe Messino did, an embarrassment and a disgrace. What Vinny did, embarrassment and disgrace. What Michael Mancuso did, embarrassment and disgrace. So that's why I put the Genovese first. They belong first. They deserve it. And they got my utmost respect. Everybody, peace out. Have a great day. I got to go do laundry and cleaning and feeding dogs and get prepared for the show. And also shower. I'm all sweaty. So everybody have a great day. See you at 12. Stay tuned for this one.